my peoples, my peoples, my peoples. Wanted to share this with you. Um, this morning, had a nurse come check my blood, get a urine sample, you know, do a few tests or whatever, because your boy got locked into some really good health insurance for a really good price, because my family and I were eligible for some special, like, healthy people's program. So once that goes through, that's gonna be nice to have, like, A1 insurance. And we're doing an unboxing here, so check this out. But there was a reason why I mentioned it before this unboxing, and that is because if you are young, if you are healthy, it will pay you to get health insurance as a barber. I know you guys are self-employed, and we don't have access to, like, employer-provided health insurance. But if you're young, you're healthy, go get your health insurance ASAP. It'll be cheaper. You'll get better health insurance. You'll be surprised. It always blows my mind how many people will make um, employment decisions. Will leave barbering, for example, to go get a job because they want health insurance. Now, well, when I look at the cost of it, for a family of four, it's less than the price of a haircut per day, right? So my first haircut per day pays for my health insurance for my family. If you have no kids and it's, or it's just you and, and a wife or you and one kid, bro, it's like half of the price of a haircut per day. So it's more than affordable. You know, you don't need to leave your barbering career to get health insurance. So it always blows my mind, but just wanted to point that out. And here is the unboxing. <laughs> Stylecraft dropping another clipper, Super Torque Apex. I bet you this is the Mythics with probably like the Rebel motor in it. I bet you that's what this is. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, that's rotary. That's a rotary motor. I'm gonna go into a deeper dive in just a second. Yeah, this is the same motor, 7,200 strokes per minute. got like help from mother nature lighting this thing up so it's four hours of runtime which i'm not going to test but modular transparent okay this is dlc heavy duty full metal body 7200 if all this is true this is going to be as long as you like the shape of it and stuff it's going to be one badass clipper i wish it came with the clip case already attached but you get your standard style craft charging dial if there's anything different that comes in you get your clear body these are like new guards it looks like oh he put color on them God damn it. yep somebody listens i've been asking asking for companies to do this for the longest time what do you think this is motivated from i see you austin i know that green zero i know what these colors are motivated from that green zero red number one literally my color chart this is literally my color chart so it's a company that's that's Watching what the industry is doing, that's why they're winning, bro. And they're doing something about it. They don't got their egos. They can't follow in there. Stretch bracket. I don't really like the stretch bracket, but we will we will cut with these today. Let's take it out to actual film. These are the same exact clippers as the Mythics. I think the difference is obviously the motor. Come with a fade blade. Full metal. Full metal body. It's got some weight to it. Definitely weighs more than the seniors. So if you like weight, you're gonna like these. Let's cut these on. Here we go. Hmm. They're a lot quieter than the Rebels. And you probably can't tell because it's so close to this microphone and I'm using the, the Apple microphone, so it's not that good, but it could pick up things a lot louder than they really are. I think it's because it's a full metal body that it's quieter than the Rebels and it doesn't feel as much power because it's a better build, better quality build. So I think you're not getting all the shakiness that you kind of get with the Rebels. It's gonna be interesting to it's gonna be interesting to cut with these. The black lever. So I'm gonna cut with these today and we will drop another video about these while I'm cutting. Let's go check out the box, the packaging. I'll probably open these up and put the clear case, put the clear case on. I think that, that it's too full right here in the bottom. So I don't think any of our power clips will fit. I could be wrong, but I doubt it. I doubt any of our power clips will fit. It's already got like a little scratch on it. Keep that into consideration. We'll see how they hold up, but usually these metal bodies with the color like this, they'll chip off 
It'd be cool to see a stainless steel version, see if a stainless steel would, would hold up better. I could tell you right off the bat, it's definitely not gonna be a clipper for everybody. There's a lot of people that complain about heavy clippers. Like for example, the Masters were like a deal breaker for so many people. For me, the Masters were my go-to, the corded Masters. When I started cutting hair, I cut with those for like four years straight. I was a, a Masters fanatic. Purple guards were amazing. So I'm actually gonna use this whole system, the guards included, uh, when I cut hair tomorrow. I will drop that video tomorrow if you guys are interested. So right off the bat, again, this is gonna eliminate 10% of you guys, 20% of you guys maybe, I don't know. This is what I'm imagining. You can imagine the Rebels, um, how they cut with a higher quality body, um, some weight to it, then you can imagine what these clippers probably be like. I'm Again, I'm not sure because I haven't cut with them, but that's what I'm, I'm imagining these clippers are gonna be like. I'm gonna go over to the warehouse now because we have a new product release. It's officially out. Colored charging pads are officially out. First time we've ever had them. So if you got a colored power mat, get you one of these pads. These are limited editions. I don't think we'll ever make these again. So if you need these colors, get you some. We're gonna go to the warehouse now. You guys will be able to see that. And I'm gonna open up these apexes to see what they're looking like inside. Got them here. We are in the 245 office warehouse distribution center but you guys can see we got blue we got orange purple red green so those are out those are available right now on the website and then what i need to do here is i don't think anything's gonna fit these man i think all of our power clips are gonna be way too small actually uh, let me check something all right let's see will this work uh it's gonna be backwards nope that doesn't work nope that don't work smaller one so let's see if this works. Let's see. Nah, it's not working. Nope. I'll open up some of these, put it in this powered mat, see how they look. So obviously we got like all the colored uh, powered mats. So if you want to match them, you can. Or if you just want to switch it up, you can. Look the red. That thing stands out, man. Whoa. And then obviously you could pair that with, oh, this is the orange. You know, if you wanted to do, wanted it all red, you put this with the red, or if you want to, switch it up you could do that too let's look at other colors so like here's a purple powered mat you would use the purple and the purple powered mat it's gonna be interesting to see if uh, people get creative with it you know what i mean and uh once you get yours guys post it tag official 245 we always like reposting people set up if you got a dope setup man with your clippers and all that man share it so you got the purple looking in there right, so you guys can see the purple and you guys can see that we made we made this a little bit smaller let's see the texture in there Pretty badass. The fresh bump is already on there. So boom, you hit it against there. You, you know it's gonna charge. Boom, charge, pretty cool. Let's see what, what y'all come up with, man. Different colors. And if you order one of these, the uh, the colored uh, expansion pads, um, if you order one, what I'll do is I'll probably, I'm gonna select a few packages and just put random extra gifts in there. Maybe put a clipper in there, maybe put a shaver in there, maybe add a power clip, I don't know. It's gonna be random. Obviously not everybody's gonna get it, but if you order today, you'll get a chance at getting a surprise in your package once you open it. Not everyone, like I said, not everyone. It's just gonna be random. I might do it to like five packages where it's gonna be some extra dope stuff. So place your orders now. Now let's go open these things up. All right guys, we're opening this thing up. All right, it's open. Let's see what's inside. Logic board, this motor's covered. The motor's kind of, it's covered up right now. So there's some some thickness there. So I'm. it's looking like this motor is kind of small. Hmm. I don't have any Rebels on me right now, guys, but is this similar to the Rebels motor? Let me take this casing off and see what we got. And then uh, look at the battery too. Not done. But yeah, man, look, this is the inside of it. You guys can see it's a fairly small motor. Honestly, 7,200 RPM. And I'm gonna test to see if it does 7,200 RPM. Honestly, I would have thought that motor would have been bigger. I don't know nothing about motors. That is Daniel's son's job. Okay, all right. This I is what he does on his free time. He me. opens things up. <laughs> oh, let's look at the battery too. All right, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna, cause I gotta, you gotta unscrew this board here, here, and here. I'm not gonna do that. You guys can see the battery underneath it. A lot like kind of like the internals of the uh, the Clipper FX. Reminds me of with, with, the, with the logic board there. So Danny verified it's not a small motor. <laughs> so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. <laughs> this is why you're honest about what you know and what you don't know. Because now I know that that's a standard motor. It's not a small one. So just learn something today. All right, so this is the app that we're gonna use. And in order for this app, for me to make sure that it's working, I mean, it might not be 100% accurate, but at least if we reference this Clipper and this Clipper, we'll get an idea 
of the RPMs on this clipper, all right? Even if it's not 100% accurate. So this is a Gary app. So we're gonna do the Magic Clips first. Let's see what the Magic Clips are showing. So you guys can see about 5,500 RPM. Yeah, y'all can see it. That's the Magic Clip. Let's check. These are magnetic, so these should be faster than both of those clippers, okay? Let's see. And they are. Look, we had about 8,900 just now. Yep, 8900. Because they're magnetic, so they of course they should be they should be a lot faster than the rotaries. But that doesn't mean that they cut with more torque. They don't have more torque, okay? They don't have more power to get into bulk. All right. At least they should. So far it's been pretty damn accurate, right? Now let's try the Apex. Hmm, huh, 6200. I'm not getting the 7200. It might still be 7200, and this just isn't reading that accurate because this is an app. It can only be so accurate, right? These are definitely gonna have more power than your Magic Clips. I got low pros here. We'll check these low pros out. So we're gonna check these low pros out. You ready? One, two, three. Let's see where the low pros are at. 6800, it looks like. Yep about 6800 these promote on the packaging 6800 so this thing's got to be pretty damn pretty accurate these aren't going to have the power that the low pros have but they're different clippers they're different we'll see how they perform though I'm, I'm not the power the speed the blade speed right just because the blade speed isn't faster than the low pros doesn't mean that they're not more powerful have more torque. We'll see how they perform in a later video that I drop. And just so you know, I've been seeing people use, I think the Skeleton FX Power Clip on these and it's been charging them. Skeleton Power Clip, see, does it work? Yeah. So there you have it, it's attached, feels good, it's not in the way. Now let's see if they charge. They charge. All right guys, so if you have the low pros, you can use the Skeleton FX Power Clip and it's not in the way, feels good, it's small and can charge your low pros fire all right guys so that's it for today's vlog i'm gonna go head over to the barbershop i'm actually gonna use these things and with that being said go order you the expansion pads they're available now limited edition get them before they sell out and uh tag official 245 with whatever you end up building because we want to see what kind of looks are out there that'll be dope mm -hmm.